Fox at 6, breaking news, a deadly house fire in Warwick. The Pinpoint News Tracker showing you where it happened on Buttonwood Drive. Tonight, police say five people are dead, including an infant. We have live team coverage of this tragic breaking news. Eyewitness News reporter Nika Nuoso spoke to neighbors. But first, Alex DePrado has the breaking details from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Well, Catherine, we are here at the Warwick Fire Department. We just finished speaking with the chief in a real tragedy all the way around. Five people killed in a house fire this afternoon. It all happened around noon. Let's take you right into the videotape. It happened at this home on Buttonwood Drive. The fire chief says the 21-year-old daughter of the homeowner and her seven-month-old uh, were inside. They died along with three others who were friends. The fire chief says the fire broke out between the first and second floors and quickly spread. The fire, uh, the, I'm sorry, the five deceased were all sleeping on the second floor and likely didn't even wake up. There is no evidence of working smoke detectors inside the home. Firefighters say they received a 911 call from someone who was asleep on the first floor and was woken up when a piece of the ceiling fell. He, who was a friend, was the only person who was able to escape. This is a very, very tough scene here for the Walk Fire Department. Uh, they did a great job, and uh, as you all know, uh, timing of these incidents is what determines the outcome. So tonight, firefighters are working to determine the exact cause. They say this broke out somewhere between the first and second floors in between there in some, in, in some sort of paneling or wall. As for this fire, this is the deadliest fire in Rhode Island since the station light nightclub fire. Well, of course, we're monitoring it, and we'll have much more throughout the evening here on Eyewitness News. For now, we are live in Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News. Our in-depth team coverage continues now live with Eyewitness News reporter Nika Nuoso. She joins us live from the breaking news center where she says neighbors tonight are in complete disbelief. Nika. Well, that's right, Catherine. This fire happened in a very tight-knit community in suburbs just south of TF Green Airport. Now, neighbors tell us that the homeowners were actually vacationing in Vermont at the time of the fire. Their daughter, we're told, was staying in the home with her very young child, her baby, actually. Now, eyewitnesses also tell us that smoke poured out of the house as fire crews rushed to the scene on Buttonwoods Drive. Neighbors say they saw several residents, their friends, being taken out of the burning home in very bad shape. And I saw the first body being placed, and they put the white gauze sheet over it, and chills went up my spine. And then there was a second body, an adult, on a second gurney, and on the third gurney was the little child. We have always known Jim and Sue Whedon to be wonderful neighbors, um, uh, very nice people to speak with, and uh, good neighbors in the community for years. Now we are going to be speaking with many more people and fire officials in the coming hours and days. We'll also be following up on reports that the home did not have working smoke detectors. For now, we're live in the Breaking News Center. I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News.